It's come to my attention, not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, be sure to let me know in the comments below, Gemini, which cards do and how they do, because that is how I keep up with y'all through the comments as well. If you enjoy this tarot reading today, darling, or you just enjoy my vibe, I really appreciate it, Gemini, if you were to go the extra mile and to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, and I always appreciate it when you guys do that for me um but remember when it comes to take, receiving this reading today gemini to use your intuition because put it in perspective i'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you you know your situation better than I ever possibly could so take the tarot cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because i'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever leave the tarot cards are just here my beautiful gemini to give you some perspective some food for thought for today but never making the decisions in your life because it's your life to live darling not mine and not these tarot cards so with all that being said, Gemini, let's jump into your weekly tarot reading. See, Gemini, what angel is stepping forward for you this week to let us know the theme of what's going to be going on this week for you. So you have the angel Kater. Kater? Kater? I don't know how to pronounce this angel's name. But I always like to, Gemini, hold up the artwork, artwork for this oracle card because I believe the artwork plays a heavy role in terms of receiving the messages and plus the cards are just gorgeous, Gemini. So Kater is the crown dealing with the crown chakra and spirituality. So definitely this is going to be a week uh, Gemini, that you're probably going to be seeing a lot of signs from spirit letting you know of their presence. A presence. Why am I struggling speaking right now? <laughs> Pardon me, Gemini. So whatever signs you associate with the other world, right? Maybe you have a past relative that you associate to uh, ladybugs or butterflies, for example, or maybe feathers for a certain spirit guide that you work with or an ancestor that you work with, right? So definitely be on the lookout. Pay attention to the sign spirits trying to leave you this week as well. And also when you think about the crown, crown chakra, this is a time of you're having probably a little bit of an awakening process, a little bit of sense a greater sense of awareness when it comes to situations gemini so naturally when it comes to the awakening process or having a better understanding on things this usually leads to also feelings of uh being overwhelmed at times for seemingly no reason for simple tasks this can also feel like a sense of isolation because you feel as if no one understands you or um is able to relate to you in some way so you kind of can go inwardly during this time as well so those are all signs to be paying attention to at this time gemini let's get some clarifiers now for this we have coming forward these six of pentacles so very beautiful organic um energy that you have here uh definitely i would say this is a time of um for you uh gemini i would say seek out uh bringing balance to some things i know that's kind of a cliche for me as a libra to say but let's get some clarifiers on this i'm seeing the number three so ooh. We have the Tower card, the Six of Cups inverted, as well as the Hanged Man coming in here uh, for you, Gemini. So let's break this down. What does this mean when you have the Six of Pentacles as the core root of this energy in terms of your spirituality? So uh, definitely, uh, Gemini, I do get this sense that you guys are going to be leaving um, for my spiritual practicing folk. I do feel as if uh, there's a sense of disconnect from a certain practice that you're doing. Maybe there's a certain, um, you know, if you do work with spirit guides gemini also side twist like it's over 100 degrees honey so you're gonna see me a little bit extra moisturized gemini i live in washington we're going through a heat wave and there's no ac honey so don't mind me if i look extra uh as i say i say, say extra juicy I'm moisturized rather we're saying extra moisturized uh but i see a gemini who is spiritually practicing um either some some aspect of their spirituality maybe there's a spirit that they're no longer uh, or a deity that they're coming uh, away with or if you work with the spirit guide maybe a spirit guide the lesson they had to teach you is come into completion right so with the six of cups in the reverse though it's showing to me some type of some type of uh almost i would say almost a denial i would say Gemini, the sense of where you're having some sense of denial over coming to terms with some certain aspect, and I see you finally coming around to this sense. So what do I mean by this? I feel it almost as if there was a certain situation that you were associating a lot of spiritual weight to. 
right the six of cups here shows to me almost like the importance that you the amount of weight that you had on this or just more so like how long you've had a relationship with this and so let's just say you know for your uh, there's a certain person in your life that you associated a lot with your spirituality. Maybe you thought someone was like your soulmate or twin flame. Not saying they are or they are not, Gemini, right? But uh, something happened that kind of like altered how you perceive the world and how you what it, your beliefs are, right? Maybe your beliefs on soulmates have shifted because of a certain situation. Maybe your calling or beliefs in general have shifted because of where your path is taking you now and what is calling to you now, Gemini. Either way, I do feel like there's this sense of a little bit of denial for a little bit from you, Gemini, on wanting to accept the things as they are. But I do feel like with the Six of Pentacles here, this is you so more, you so more so, you more so rather in Gemini, coming to terms with some chapter kind of being over, right? I don't know if you guys are like walking, let me know what's going on here, Gemini, because I do feel like you guys are like walking away. I know I focused more so on the message with some spiritual practice, but it feels like you're walking away from something that you just held a lot of meaning to at one point. But it's not, I don't feel like it's in a bad way necessarily, Gemini. I just get this sense here where it's just like you've identi identified <laughs> something, uh, some season coming to a closure for you, Gemini. And I see you kind of just being like, all right, time to move into the next direction. So now, Gemini, let's get into a little bit of what Spirit's advice is for you this week. This is my favorite part because this is where the tough love comes in, honey, Gemini, right? So if you do, if you have some, um, sensitive feelings this part may not be for you honey but let's get into this let's see what messages spirit has for you this week gemini starting this out we have the what's going on here the six of wands all right so definitely a lot of eyes are going to be on you this week um gemini you're going to be noticed a lot this is not the week basically honey for you to be going to the grocery store and your PJs, well, I mean, honey, I do that anyway, so I don't care who sees, right? But as an example, right, if, you know, if you're not feeling, if you don't feel like being seen, right, um, or trying to be incognito, I do get the sense that people are noticing you, people are noticing your behaviors, your mannerisms. I do feel like people are watching you, Gemini. And I kind of want to get some more clarifiers. I'm seeing the number two for this, so let's pull two cards. Uh, let's see here. Seven of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So... Gemini, someone's almost like banking on you failing. Uh, it's a weird message where it's like, I feel like, <laughs> like you're the Six of Wands comes in as success and victory for you, but someone's kind of praying for your downfall, darling. I may even title your video where it's just like, there's a quote where it's just like, I forget who it's from, but it's just like, um, these people are just praying for my downfall, darling. And I feel like this is kind of what's going on with you. It's a weird message to be coming in here, but it's almost like someone's watching you from afar, Gemini, waiting for you to do like some type of wrong move, waiting for you to mess up and whatever it is you're trying to plant, right? This is the intent that I feel like um, why those eyes are on you in the first place. So let's get some clarifiers first with the Seven of Pentacles, darling. We'll maintain the two, number two for these. So Five of Swords and the Page of Swords in the reverse on the Seven of Pentacles side. So this is more so on your side of things, Gemini. I'm seeing for you, this is kind of your anxiety as well. Five of Swords has already been in your mind a little bit of where you're just like, oh gosh, like I don't want this to fall apart. I don't want this to whatever, right? Page of Swords in the reverse shows to me almost like this fear as well, Gemini. So it shows to me that a lot of you guys are in tune with your intuition of where it's like, um, your fear of where it's just like, oh, I feel as you have like a hunched feeling on, um, almost like some kind of shadiness going on in your life. And I do feel like uh, it's kind of getting confirmed with this Ace of Pentacles inverted with the Six of Wands. Let's look into this as well, darling. Three of Pentacles coming in with the Two of Wands. Yeah, this is straight up coming in as like, you know, this is all talking about like for your work life, pay attention to the people in your work life, Gemini. There may be some self, like there may be some sabotaging, definitely as well. Like be aware, like if some, if it is this case, um, something that came to mind as well, Gemini, is to be, don't get, allow yourself to be triggered by emotional situations because I feel like that is like the goal for this individual for them to just try to trigger you in some way uh king of cups inverted yeah trying to get you a little bit out of your control of your emotions very much so like a gaslighting energy i feel as if with this it would be very much so like a 
let me give you a storyline, Gemini, of like where you're going to work every single day and you have this coworker, you've never done anything to them, but they just don't seem to like you, Gemini, right? No matter what, you do, what it is you do. And so they're watching you the entire time. And um, the first time you make a mistake, darling, that is when um, I almost feel like <laughs> they'll kind of just like tease you, tease you for it. And then, um, I don't know. It just feels like they're trying to get an emotional reaction is all. I'm going to drop it there because I don't like feeding in that much energy into dramas. Just be aware about what's trying to trigger you, Gemini. So now I want to get into the good things coming in for you, Gemini. Enough of all that weird energy, darling, right? Um, we have the full card that came flying out for you. So a new journey for sure. I love this card. I feel like there's a glare, honey. Hold on. Hold on, Gemini. We're going to just keep this live, darling. You know... There we go. <laughs> so with this full card, there we go. It's a little bit better. Uh, full card, just definitely stepping into a new journey, um, Gemini. Stepping into a new journey with something. What does this journey look like? I'm seeing the number four. Let's pull full car four cards. Uh, we have the Eight of Cups inverted, the Ten of Wands inverted, the King of Pentacles inverted, and the Emperor card coming in here. So, um... For you, Gemini, I feel like the good things that are coming to you is almost where it's speaking of a message of where I almost get this sense, uh, Gemini, that oddly enough, there's something that you're pulling for. And I know this is kind of reflective of your past readings, Gemini, or something that you've been kind of clinging on to. There's something that you've been pulling for, something that you've been kind of uh, being your own cheerleader about. And I kind of suspect it's with that Seven of Pentacles as well and that Ace of Pentacles inverted, where it's like, that's what people are watching for your downfall in. Like, I feel like the efforts that you're taking and choosing to like really sink your energies into things and not really shifting from project to project, like, I don't know, with this Emperor card coming in here, I feel like you guys are in this kind of mindset of just like taking action. And I feel like you guys are going to be really rewarded for action in the sense of, um, Gemini, it's almost like, and I usually hate kind of giving into this message, especially when it comes to the Fool card, um, but it's almost like you're having like a new approach on something old, right? So let's just say you used to be a teacher or you used to do some, like some type of activity, right? Um, but you didn't have time for it anymore. Ten of Wands being in the upright at the time. I feel like the more that uh, the workload lessens for you, uh, Gemini, the better off, like the more time that you have to sink energy back into something that people kind of weren't feeling like sleeping on you with, right? I feel like there's some kind of, some type of doubt, doubt um, that no one else understands besides you, but you really are going hard at it. So I really feel like this is more so of a message of stay the course of something. You're about to get your payout naturally, especially with that seven of pentacles having a bountiful harvest in the long term gemini let's get into your social situations this week when i say social situations darling i mean more than just your romantic you have your work life you have your family friends platonic all of that good stuff darling so you have the full moon in gemini didn't you get this card last week when it came to your work life uh gemini there's your full moon full moon in gemini the answers you need are coming when it comes to a social situation so definitely if you're you're you can anticipate some closure this week when it comes to some type of social dynamic um you, the answer of what it is that you've been searching for i do get this i am sh being shown like a gemini that's suspended in the air so you may feel as if you've been like up in like some type of situation you kind of been up in the air about or you like you don't know where you stand with the situation with somebody Seven of Wands coming in here. <laughs> this is more so pointing into an energy for a Gemini that kind of doesn't, like, again, almost like, I would even suspect it's that same person, uh, Gemini, that's kind of like, you're getting the sense, or at least I got the impression where they're kind of like watching you, waiting for your downfall in some way. Gemini, the Seven of Wands here shows to me um, the answers you need are coming, almost like a direct affirmation, Seven of Wands, so where... You're kind of, some people are going to like review, reveal their intentions and show you, um, Gemini, like where they put you in their life, like how they see you, right? So this could, you know, be in the simplest, most simplistic of terms. Maybe they, people in your life, Gemini, don't 
uh, have faith in you when it comes to your work life, right? Or they don't have faith in you, in you when it comes to relationships. Or they do, right? Vice versa. It could be in a positive twist as well. It doesn't have to be in that negative way. I just feel as if this is going to be a week of where you understand people's perception of you. Does that make sense? I'm seeing the number two, so let's pull two cards for this. Seven of Cups, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is a situation of where um, I feel like you've given this situation um, some... Like you've given the second, third, and fourth, fifth chances, uh, Gemini. And I feel almost as if like you keep on giving these chances because you don't want to let this go either. Gemini, I know from my Geminis that uh, tap into my readings, you guys really are very sentimental beings. And there's nothing wrong with it, right? Just be sure that you're sentimental towards the things that give you the respect and honor your energy properly, um, Gemini. Right? Because I do feel like you've given this multiple chances. So how is this going to pan out? Let's continue on and honor that number two. So we have the Five of Wands inverted as well as the Knight of Swords inverted. So, Gemini, I do feel like this is more so as a message where... <sighs> closure, the answers you need that are coming, like, there's almost like a foreshadowing of where... I hate this kind of ominous message, Gemini, but it's almost like this foreshadowing, foreshadowing of where you're going to get another reminder as to why you shouldn't give this a chance or another reminder of a social situation, um, relationship in your life of being like, um, kind of just reminding you like they haven't changed almost. It's like a message coming in and being shown to you is like, oh, this person hasn't really changed um, in some way. But you could also... No, I feel like this more so as a message you hasn't changed because you get the Knight of Swords and the reaction inverted to this with this Five of Wands in the reverse. So it's almost like one of those like... You realize someone hasn't changed, but there's not really any more fighting to this. It's almost like a giving up energy. I don't know if on both sides y'all get just give up on each other, or it's just a you thing, Gemini, where you kind of just fold your hands clean on the situation, which would be a pretty big thing for you, just because on like how much you want to cling on to things that um, you hold personally to you. So now, Gemini, let's now finally get into your financial and career this week. What's going on from a Gemini's financial and career? Let's see here. We have the, is this a new moon? Yeah, new moon in eclipse. The expect a powerful change when it comes to your finances this week, when it comes to your work life. And if it's not this week, then you're probably, I would say you're going to experience some like rumblings, right? You know, whenever a thunderstorm, a juicy thunderstorm is going to be coming, honey, and you start getting like the signs of a thunderstorm. Maybe it's not like a common thing. I'm from Florida. So it's like, um, my childhood's in Florida rather. So it's like during hurricane season, uh, Gemini, it's like a different kind of energy. I love it um but yeah i do kind of get this foreshadowing of like big things about to be coming before you right some switch ups for you uh gemini so let's get some clarifiers on this i'm seeing the number three let's continue on seven of swords inverted six of swords inverted page of pentacles coming in darling okay so expecting a powerful change but it's expecting a powerful change of where um Sim weirdly enough, Gemini, this is kind of like a similar message in the sense that you're like, you really are like, almost like clinging on to like a certain like work situation or how you got your money initially. And you're being really pushed, Gemini, in terms of like, if you want a more income, a more, a better stream of revenue, you do have to let go of something. Seven of Swords comes into me where it's like you're stuck, you're clinging on to Seven of Swords and Six of Swords. It's like, you're so resistant and clinging on to a job that makes you absolutely miserable. Maybe you work at a fact, in a factory, maybe you work at Walmart or McDonald's or fat, any, you know, nothing wrong with those jobs, honey, right? absolutely not um but it's like it just is making you like it feels like you're going to a job or the way that you're getting your money is just making you feel dead inside and i feel like you guys are just cra craving just a new stream of revenue craving like a new pace you know maybe for even some of you guys you're just looking to have like to be reinvigorated <laughs> in some way to be compensated in some way and not in just like a 25 cent raise right 
And let's pull a couple cards for this page of pentacles. Nine of pentacles inverted with the ace of pentacles inverted. So uh, as Gemini, you guys are, the biggest struggle you guys are probably having is really being resistant to honoring your new, honoring ideas. And um, when it comes to creating those streams of revenue, right? I feel like you guys are clinging on to those, the, that dead end job because you guys are not having faith in like you being able to do something else. You being able to manage your own employment. You being able to have the creative ideas that would be able to help you create a beautiful business in Gemini. And I feel like you guys need to honor that a little bit more um, if you are trying to break out of your pattern that you're in, right? That's when you can expect the powerful change naturally, Gemini. So yeah, before we close out this reading for you, Gemini, let's get a quote card, right? So we can take this quote with you for the rest of this week to get you through the week, darling. Because y'all know, Gemini, I love my quotes. I love my quotes. Cannot get enough of them. So this card says, The moment I embrace my peace and within... <laughs> Let's turn this over, darling. <laughs> the moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. Okay, this this person this card's um grammar is awful, and that's why I'm like struggling to read it. Let me read this again. The moment I embrace my peace, there's a period here for somewhere for some reason. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. And I really feel like this is notice how it's talking about work. I really do feel like you kind of have to have like a hanged man moment um in your life, Gemini, where you kind of just go let go and let God right where you kind of just surrender trying to have so much control in your life surrendering the hope surrounding the idea of like a certain narrative of how you want your storyline to play out um and i do feel like with that freedom and you just kind of being a little bit more malleable in your life i feel like you would find a lot more success and a lot more ease in, in that regard so uh yeah gemini that is the reading that i have for you darling hopefully you found some cards that resonate with you in this tarot reading if you did let me know in the comments below which cards did be sure to give this video a like and subscribe gemini um, if you would like to book a personal reading with me my website is simplyvalka.com i leave it down in the description box below along with all my social medias darling at simplyvalka for tiktok instagram twitter all the social medias you name it it's just simplyvalka honey and thank you so much for allowing me to do this for you gemini i hope i can connect with you sometime in the near future if you have a friend that's into the tarot, darling, or even if they're not, send them one of my videos and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well. Until next time, though, Gemini, I love you so much. Bye.